All right, guys. So a company called American Modified sent me this for nice flat black finish and it's got a sweet LED light bar in the middle. And that's one of the things I've been looking about adding is uh, extra lights in. And I'm super happy we got this. It should be pretty easy to install. So we'll go find out. So what we got to do to get the new one in is we got to pull this old one out. And the first thing that we have to do is get this little plastic shroud off here. Uh, there's these little plastic rivets uh, that are holding it in place. And they make a tool especially designed just for popping those things out. If I find one on Amazon, I'll link it right here and down in the description area. Um, I used to have one. I don't know what happened to it. So we are just going to use a little screwdriver and a little putty knife. So we're going to get these out and pop it off. All right, I counted 15 total, so in case you're wondering. And also there's this little uh, rivet in the air vent. I'm just gonna pop that out. So 16. And we got uh, six little 10 millimeter bolts that just run across the top here. And right back here, there is a 10 millimeter nut. And another one right back here. It's just gonna be easiest to get to it with the old ratchet. And right here's a little plate that you have to remove and there's a 10 millimeter bolt right behind it that you have to get. And the same on this side. That one came off a little easier. And it should just pry out with a little bit of force. Voila. If you have a camera, then you'll probably, you'll have, before you rip that thing off like that, you'll just have to pry it back, disconnect it. And there's a washer line that usually comes out for spraying the camera that you'll have to disconnect to. All right, we got these four old tabs that didn't come out with the grill. So we just got to pull these out. So before we smash this grill in, uh, we're going to take the wires for the lights up over here and it's telling you to hook it up to the headlights and we're not doing that we are going to hook it up to the upfitter switches we have the upfitter switches and our truck that's going to allow us to turn these things on and off in the cab whenever we want so the wiring harness for our upfitter switches is right down here and what we're going to have to do is pull those wires out and they're all color coded and if you go look in your manual uh, you will find out which code color coordinate goes to which switch in there so we're gonna figure that out and then we'll run the wire and get it hooked up. All right guys, so Ford's done it again. If you look in the manual, this is saying auxiliary one is violet and green. And if you look through here, there is no violet and green. The only uh, violet one in here is with orange. So, but then uh, there's a little, once you unwrap those, there's a little tag that comes on it and this one actually ripped in half, but it has the color coordination to the auxiliary switch that you want. So check those out. The book may be wrong. I just ran the wire up through here, back down here, coming out here, and I cut the negative nail line short 
because that's going to hook directly to the negative part of the battery and you only need the positive to go to the upfitter switches. All right, so I just crimped on a little piece for the negative. Slap that connection on. All right, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret too. Um, you can never find these 10 millimeter sockets. You always lose them. And so you can never find them when you need them and everything is 10 millimeter nowadays. So what I did was I went online and I bought a whole bundle of 10 millimeter sockets. I'll leave that link in the description below because I'm sure that can help everybody. But it gives you all different sizes and I just kind of put them a little bit in every little box so I always have plenty of 10 millimeter sockets. All right, to make sure everything's correct, I'm turning this on and then flipping that switch on and make sure that's the right wire. And we come out here, lights are on, sweet. So the owner manual was wrong and the little paper was right. So I would go by that little paper that's wrapped up in there. So I just wrap these back up nice and neat and get them out of the way. Before we uh, plop it in, you need to take the, these old ones out and thread these into the, the new one here. And the new grill should just pop in place. Then just put these nuts back on, both sides. Be careful using uh, impacts around plastic. If you're not real familiar with these, just go gentle or just do it by hand. That way you don't crack anything. Gonna do a little test of this light. 